For C minor 11 voicing, we would play a stack of fifths in the left hand, so the chord's root, the fifth, and the ninth. And then in your right hand, you're going to find the chord's third, so for a minor 7 chord, you'll find the minor third, which is a half step up from the ninth. And you're going to build another stack of fifths in your right hand. Now, if you can't stretch this, I'll show you some other variations coming up. We have a sawn off version, which we'll end the video with. And it's not the end of the world if you can't stretch this. You can still learn jazz piano with smaller hands. But if you can stretch this, it's really nice. A few alternatives though, you might be able to arpeggiate it. Like this. For example, in Kenny Barron's song, Spiral, that's what he does. It's arpeggiated. So you don't always have to play it as a block chord or you can ripple it, this, or you can play the root, hold it down in the pedal, and jump up and play this. So this is a great voicing for minor 11 chords. So if I see C minor seven in the chord sheet, and the melody note is the 11th, which is an F, same note as the fourth, then this is my trigger to play this voicing because when I play this voicing, I play the chord, all the chordal tones, and I play the melody note as my top note. So for example, in the song Moon River, the second chord is an A minor seven chord, but the melody note is the fourth or the 11th. So that for me is my trigger to play the Kenny Barron voicing. Another song where I use this is Stomping at the Savoy. There's a section where it goes to G minor 7 chord, the melody note is a C, which is the 11th or the 4th, so for me that's my trigger. So now it's practice time. I want you to go to the piano and I want you to practice building this Kenny Barron chord voicing. We're going to start from C practice building the interval pattern, but then to hop around at random and to just build it from random notes. So you're gonna take your time, you're gonna count out fifth, fifth, then upper half step to the chords minor third, then fifth, fifth. You can just do this from random notes. Now, if you want to learn more jazz piano chord voicings, I've actually written a free ebook for you. It's called The Chord Voicing Guide. You can download it for free at the link below.